Hey YouTube fans, this is Paul from Technology Computer Services. I'm here to show you guys how to set up a printer. Um, pretty much I'm going to go from start to finish. I just uninstalled mine and installed all the drivers so I'm going to walk you through the whole process and at the end I'm going to show you some of the, the, the properties you can change in a printer. Like how to set it as your default printer, uh, how to print both sides, even if you can print on both sides. Uh, you know, sharing your printer, setting up time if you want to for your printer, all that good stuff. So, just to show you, you go to your start. Um, you go here to devices and printers. Click on that. You get this screen that loads up. Shows you everything that's connected to your printer. You know, for instance, I got my hard drive, like my actual computer hard drive, named it Shaytan. My monitor, my webcam, my keyboard. These are just generic. These are always on. This here, if you use this as a printer, all it does is it, it prints to a file. So if you type something out and print, you don't have any printer set up, you can just print it to a file. So not really any different than just saving it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you how to install a printer. You can use the add a printer uh, button up here. But for Windows, because I have a USB printer, as soon as you plug it in, its Windows will recognize it. So I'm going to show you that first, just how to, to do it. So I'm going to keep my camera down here. So I am now going to plug in my printer right now. And we should get a notification. There you go, installing device driver software. All I did was I plugged in my printer. I will show you a picture of what the cable looks like. So the device driver was not successfully installed. That's fine. Um, you probably have a CD that came with your printer. So you just pop that into your CD tray. I've already went ahead and done that. So I go to my computer or just computer if you're in Windows 7. My computer for XP. And you get your, your drives here, so DVD ROM right here, Epson printer, double click that. Okay, so that was just my uh, user access control. Close this down. I will also show you how to get this stuff if you don't have your CDs. Okay, so this is your custom installation. So, you know, select the items you want to install, click install. That's simple as that. So, I want to install my Epson Stylus NX510 series driver. So, X is already there. Information center. This is all right if you guys don't know how to really fix your own computers or I don't really need it. Uh, bonus software. These are usually fun because you can gives your uh, printer a little bit more options. So you just click down here, install. Uh, so the difference between these two, uh, install driver for a direct USB connection, which is what I have right now. My USB from my computer to my printer is physically connected. You can also install it for a network. So for instance, my printer is wireless, so I can install here click this and get my computer set up on the net or get my printer set up on the network I can show you how to network your printer in another video because I don't like to make these videos too long so for now I'm just going to install it as if you're connecting right to it so you just hit next now I'm going to pause the video here while it's installing there's nothing else that's going to happen I'll be right back so I figured I'd just show you guys this this is while I was installing it just shows you how to set it up so now that it's done I can uh, print a test page which I don't really feel the need to if you see down here my little bubble says your device is ready to use I'm just gonna hit next bonus software I don't ever do these you don't like you gotta watch when you install any stuff you don't have to install everything that it tells you to I don't need to install this stuff so I'm just gonna hit exit